Hi, my name is Carl. I am 27 and I am based out of Dallas, Texas, and this is Financial Audit. 27 years old, Dallas, Texas. What do you do for a living? I am a junior construction estimator. Okay. So by junior is, there's three other guys at the company, um, and they've kind of taken me under the wing to kind of show me the ropes, of everything. Mm-hmm. Um, so I started that back in November. So pretty like much a, a junior position because... So like entry a, level. Yeah, because they have a lot more plumbing experience and other construction experience on top of what I know. So they kind of just wanted to make sure that I knew it was like... Estimating is like estimating the price? Yeah. So the process is is a commercial construction company, and they specialize in just the plumbing side of the construction business. So if you need a new building, they're going to send our company blueprints, and, um, and we basically take the blueprints, and we look at all the plumbing involved in it. We get prices. We get prices from people that make all the products and all the, I guess, fixtures and everything that goes along with it. And we estimate how much this is going to cost them to have our company do it. Gotcha. Yeah. What do you make right now? Right now I make six seventy seven a week. That is after taxes, after uh, taxes, medical, everything. Contributions to retirement? Not yet. They have a certain amount of time and they have certain dates, like every six months where that becomes open. So not yet. And they don't do much of a match. I think it's maybe only like a 1%, but I will make sure to utilize that when it does come up, but I can't utilize it yet. Okay. That just comes out to an average. Are you paid weekly? Yes. It comes out to an average of 2,934 mm-hmm. post-tax Yeah. and healthcare and all that stuff. Uh, per month, health insurance, yeah. yeah. So And I do have a, like an AFLAC, um, some of that too. Like it's a little bit of like AFLAC stuff. So it's like if I get cancer or break a bone or anything like that, it's mostly for guys that work in construction, they'll have those things that happen. But also yeah. if I get hurt or if I need to use the emergency room, anything. There's a there's a list of things that AFLAC kind of covers, but I also have some of that. So. Now, that's 35000 bucks a year. That's uh, in a major city. That's, that can be a little difficult. It, it Yeah, so I'll kind of... I want. Also, you took out a student loan, a lot of student loans, just to get that. Yeah, so I have to kind of back up a little bit. I have to kind of give some basis to what ended me up where I'm at now. Um, so... I was a graphic designer for three years. Um, I went to college for it. I was I loved it. It was my passion. I learned everything at school. Um, came out of college. I worked for three years as a graphic designer. And even that job with the four-year degree and everything was not paying very well. I think How much? What were you getting? 42 salary. Okay. And that I was doing like... Now. 3D graphics, logos, I mean, like sure. all sorts of stuff. And I felt like I was really good at it. And what my boss at that time told me was I wanted to move up. And they were basically like, we just need somebody to get this job done. Sounds and they, like a sh- company. Did you try to move to a different company? A lot of the other companies kind of had the same kind of things they would have needed. Okay. And my area that I was doing graphic design is so niche to be a combination of graphic design yeah. um, and 3D. So niche. Um, so that area is so niche that I didn't expect to find anything that would be similar or above. I could have found something that was one way or the other, either more graphic design or only 3D. So why'd you go this route? So I felt like uh, after three years working in an office, I kind of got this need to do things with my hands. I would like try and work on my car when I didn't need to, clean things, whatever. I don't know. Physical activities just made my brain happy. I wanted to try something different. So I was like, hmm. nah, I'm good. So then I became a plumber. <laughs> okay. <sure. laughs> then I did you got plumbing. A certification. Yeah. So I did that for, uh, I started at a company. I did that. It was a commercial company is the company I work for now. Actually did that for a year and a half. I learned how to do everything, moved over to the residential side. So houses and um, that kind of plumbing. I did that for another year and a half. Um, I kind of worked my way up the pay grade. Actually, about after a year of doing that plumbing, I was already making what I was making as a graphic designer. Right. So the new job is a combination of graphic design and the plumbing. Okay. So it's learning a software that the company doesn't utilize yet. It's learning that software and knowing the plumbing side to do it properly. Very nice. Yeah. Good. Well, I'm glad. 
Um, so you did come here with someone else. She's on our camera, but I want to understand the relationship just as we're talking about the income. Mm -hmm. Friend, girlfriend, girlfriend yeah, not girl wife. Girlfriend, yeah. Okay, not, not wife. wife. Okay, so it's a uh, 2934 and that's it for you. Yeah. Yeah. On a monthly basis. Okay. Yeah. I want to know how you would describe your financial situation from your perspective as honestly as you can and give yourself a score zero out of 10. Okay, if 10, 10 being just the best, like yeah. the best, you're totally fine, emergency fund, everything, yeah. and then zero, just you're completely underwater. I would give myself probably a three um, right. because I feel like I'm kind of underwater and I'm barely, barely above making it happen, but I'm also, I feel like I'm kind of on the way to figuring it out and it's just going to be a time thing for me to kind of figure it out and get get it better into a place that I need to. Well, and I know I'm, you got I'm three rough debts. I do, yeah. And one yeah. of them's pretty extreme, but... Yeah. All right, we need to talk about something important real quick, and that's you spending way too much money on your cell phone mobile carrier. I'm partnering with Mint Mobile for a very specific reason. 15 minutes, spending as little as $15 a month on your cell phone coverage. What is not to love? This is a financial YouTube channel about putting your money in the best places. Why be putting all your money towards your cell phone bill? Imagine what you could do as little as $15 a month. Pay off debt. Save for a vacation. Save for a home. Save for retirement. Or pay off really bad debts. Come on. So make sure you go to mintmobile.com forward slash hammer. It doesn't get better than that. Check them out. Thank you. Well, we'll get into all that. Let's start with checking account first. Okay. First of all, these checking accounts, I am confused. You're all <laughs> over the place, dude. It doesn't make sense to me. But what are we doing? We're immediately starting with a dollar and 69 cents. Yep. We ended with 33, like woo improvement, but yeah. Uh, so the way that I have set up my accounts uh -huh. is very similar to how people utilize the envelope system. Okay. So I don't like cash. I am very similar to you. Yeah, I've like heard either, yeah. where you, if you see the numbers going down on your app, it makes you anxious or whatever. Like that's yeah. very similar to. But cash is nothing. I can right, burn it right. and feel nothing. Exactly. And it just annoyed me to have to go to an ATM, go to a bank or whatever. And so this is my solution to that. So I have one checking account that pays all of my bills. I figured out how much all my bills and my debts and everything that I need to pay that automatically gets sent from my work, that mm -hmm. amount. And that's, so that's 600. And you'll see the amounts that 600 is all my bills, all my debts, everything that needs to be paid and make and progress. And then one goes to both. And then one goes to one. Uh, my paycheck gets split twice. 600 is the, uh, 600 is just the bills. And then the whatever's left over in the check, usually about $77 or so, $58, that gets sent to my main checking account that I only have one debit card for. I have no other credit cards, no other debit cards that I can access money. That one debit card is it for me. So whatever is in that account to me is my budget for food and entertainment for the week. All right. I don't like the way you're doing it because I get the envelope system. The envelope system is fine and it works, but you're paying 15 bucks to service fees. A month. Right. The $5 so like for each stupid. account. It's stupid. Yeah. What, what I would rather have you do is have a primary checking account and then have like ally savings buckets and then just mm -hmm. put those into those buckets, even though there's not going to be much left over in those specific buckets, you know, it's being pulled from there and you're not getting absolutely slapped around with stupid service fees. Allied savings buckets. Yeah. What so in mean? within ally savings accounts, you can have different buckets. So uh -huh. put it in here then have it withdraw from those buckets under the different things that you're doing. Yeah. I would definitely have to look into that. I have no Please clue. Please do because yeah. we're losing 15 bucks when we're trying to get out of debt. That's essentially like interest is being accrued. Yeah. yeah the, the third account was, so I have three checking account with bank, uh, bank. Well, we'll get to so it. What is this account for? Which one? Let me see. This one is this one. So that is my, that is my bill. Uh, I believe your bills. So ongoing bills. Yes. Okay. So yeah. again, so that's why it's so close because when it begins, that's when all bills my bills have, have paid. Have, yeah, yeah. Right. So again, we did that. Now what came in here a lot were from Zelle transfers from, I think the person sitting over there. Yeah. Yeah. Why? So when we like go out or if we, 
if we go to the grocery store or something, one of us might pay for the groceries and then we'll just, just to go through one line yeah. instead. Or if that we go out sense. and like it's $35 or something, if we go to like Texas Roadhouse or something, it's like one of us will pay and then just, oh, Zell me That's fi- fine. You know, 15 bucks or whatever, okay. or whatever. But of course it was $350 and $250. Yeah. So that's her half of the rent. Plus more. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. That's Very just cool. based on how she gets paid. Um, so yeah. So this is the bills accounts, but yeah. So there should be no fast food, no nothing out of there. Yeah. So this next one must be the crap account. Yeah. Which appear to have lost the first page for some reason. I don't know how I did that. <laughs> but either way, it doesn't really matter because this is the crap account, and this one was relatively close as well. Mm-hmm. It was like you. Yeah. It was relatively close. But from here, we're doing like corner stores. And we have an uh, Adobe Photography Plan, which makes sense now that what you talked about. Then we have Crunchyroll membership and McDonald's and McDonald's and an Apple subscription and a YouTube subscription and a Microsoft subscription and McDonald's and Google Storage and Wingstop and IHOP and Total Wine and More and Raising Canes and Raising Canes, Fun Emission Productions, Mm -hmm. McDonald's, High Dive. That's YouTube more, that's TV. Like roll. Oh, gotcha. So yeah. great. More country roll. YouTube TV, <laughs> McDonald's, uh, Singles Beverage, and the Home Depot. I mean, that could be something for your place, but then we have Team Games and we're PayPaling out money and Team Games and Team Games. And of course, a $5 monthly maintenance fee. Yep. So we have two high balances on credit cards, which we haven't even gotten into yet. Mm-hmm. And we have a ridiculous private student loan. Why are you possibly, why is this even possibly happening? Uh, just, I don't know. I mean, just combination of just wanting to, I mean, when it's at the, when you're there, you kind of give it to yourself and you're just like. Why are you there? Uh, you don't go there if you self-diagnose. If I'm there, yes, I automatically yeah, pay yeah, for it. Yeah. Even if. We'll we'll come back to the spending. We'll come yeah. back to the spending. Yeah. There's man, there is no uh there is no easy way to say, Oh, I go out because of this, that and the other reason. I mean it's just when you get there and you're hungry, you come up with all sorts of reasons why well, why do you get there in the first place? I don't have maybe it's not enough food. Maybe I am Oh come on. At home. Yeah, because I start out the week. I go to get groceries, right, with my whatever it be, $77. If you look on there, most of the time I don't pay $77 or whatever it is. Um, I don't usually use all of that. I usually use all of that and then No, but why more. isn't that slightly higher than instead of going out to fast food? Yeah, yeah. It's tough. This is a this is um I know you get you get this a lot on the show where it's just like, "Oh yeah, that was last month and oh, now now it's on. fine." It, it's tough. It's that was my last statement and then I was sort of trying to bring it back because the main problem was, okay, so I just got this apartment back in January like late yeah it was like late january just got this apartment and before that i was living with my mom who lives in it's like i guess it's like 45 minutes away from my work so i lived with her um before that i went through a divorce so i had to we had to split things off i couldn't we couldn't either afford the apartment by ourselves so i went to my mom's house, I lived with her for a while. It was very far away from my work, um, 45 minutes both ways. Where's this going? What? Um, so in order to, I basically I got the new apartment and it was as cheap as I could find um, and it was now close to my work. And so okay. that's, I left my mom's house because I just didn't want to be there anymore. What does um, this have to do with your fast food spending? not with the fast food spending, just mostly just because my money's so tight. My money is so tight. Well, if money's so tight, why is everything on here highlighted green? Uh, poor judgment. There you go. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, and then we had the service fee, which not a good way to do this. First, I wouldn't even I would get a better bank. Yeah. Well, my bank's been great to me. 
Yeah, um, they're great at charging you fifteen bucks to exist. Yeah, I. So one now. One, what are we talking? What what was what's the purpose of this other account? The third account. The third account was because every month I needed to save a certain amount for medical, medical um, for car maintenance, gas, and I needed to make sure that I had a set amount put into that account. That ends up from my budget. That ends up being about sixty five dollars per check. I need to take $65 every time I get paid and I need to put that, I need to basically hold on to that and say, this is my miscellaneous home goods, Ugh. medical, all that stuff. I need to put that away and not touch it. I'm good with you trying the envelope system. I think you're just doing it in kind of a weird, risky way. And I say that because, okay, yes, you got to a low balance in that first checking account. And if you knew exactly how much it was going to get to, you knew exactly how much to put in and okay, that would have been fine. But guess what? We started with negative four dollars and twenty five cents on here. Twenty negative four dollars twenty seven cents. So mm -hmm. is this really working? Uh, I'm not sure when that start. I think that started this is less than February like twenty third to March twenty seventh. For which one is this? The kind the, of the account you just talked about the 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 final checking account. This one. So this one, I believe. Yeah, they're all named something different. So I use I use Mint for all my stuff, and I named everything, so it's easier for. So why don't you just do try. that within one checking account then? Why do we need the different accounts? Um, because because we, oh, we're overdrafting. Yeah, when I look at it on the app and I see, I know I can't touch the amount in one account, and if I go, okay, one account is. But can we I've say if it's can we say $70. it's working if we're negative in our checking account? Th I'm never getting overdrafts or anything. If it's negative, it's negative for less than 24 hours, and I figure it out. That means I have to move stuff around or I've used up that budget for that week. So to me, for it to be successful, if I put $65 in there and I spent that $65 on medical, on my gas, and on miscellaneous home goods, that means that at the end of, the, uh, end of that week, it's going to be zero, and I'm going to be like, okay, I used it on the proper stuff, and I didn't just take out of it Of course, we didn't use, use it on the proper stuff, though, because, again, it went negative. That's, it looks like you had to transfer an emergency five bucks in there to get that reversed. Yes. Probably in that, in that scenario, I most likely did, yeah. Okay. Well, it's the only one I have. Yeah. Most likely, I used up everything in that account, and then I don't know where the $5 would have came out from. Probably just from the service fee well, or you something. Know, well, there was, yes, the bull service fee, which yeah. makes, which is gross to have. Then you wrote a $66 payment for something, and then a $25 Yeah, payment the 66 that's that is me transferring over from when I get paid. That is my $66 is for... And the 25 these, the twenty five, um, if I if I took out money from it, yes, before I was supposed to, or if I used it on something I wasn't supposed to, then I'll pay it back, and I'll say I wasn't well, supposed to use that twenty five. Right. If I took out twenty five dollars, that you means put it back. That okay. means I used it on gas, on this, on that, because I don't have that card. I make sure I don't have that card, so I can't start swiping at any store. So again, is the envelope system it. working if you have to pull from one envelope because you have to get gas? So the envelope is working to me because I have to transfer in order to use the money inside that envelope. Okay. Right. So if I get gas and it costs me twenty five dollars, I have one debit card swipe. But the purpose is now I have to transfer that category money back has an envelope, and if you don't have any money left in that category, you don't spend it. Right. So I guess technically with that system, I would need five checking accounts in order for it to be a gas account, a well, miscellaneous. This is why, that this kind is of why thing. I think the envelope system within this service fee disaster. Mm -hmm. Isn't okay if it's if we are making progress because of it, okay, yeah, but in general, we're seeing like some red flags. Okay. That's why I think maybe let's look at Ally because you can make like uh infinite buckets and that might be great for you. That sounds great. I have no, I've, yeah. I've used bank uh that bank since I was in high school, so I've never yeah. looked at anything, never used anything else. So, yeah, time to get on those internets, yeah, okay. For sure. I will definitely look into that. It's oh, weird. and then the... Uh, so, yeah, it, I did get a little out of order. Cause I think the most useful one is one I sent you from Mint. Because on Mint, I go in there and I change the name of each purchase. The spreadsheet? Yes. 
Um, I changed the name of each purchase because I wanted it to be as one, it's easier for me to follow, but I thought when you were looking at it, that you can tell what's what the only problem is these bank statements are from last month. And I started using mint like this month. Okay. So some of them might correlate. Well, I usually would. prefer statements cause I can get into the nitty gritty of it. Yeah. But yeah. I wish I was using mint when I, when I was using this, but I started using mint halfway through that month so some of it would probably correlate and some of them wouldn't but yeah the yeah. mint i sent you is probably going to be the most accurate for how i'm spending currently gotcha now that's a very temporary thing though so i can i only i, I like to go off a of history more than a temporary change yeah because temporary change doesn't necessarily mean anything yeah if we sense. have changes that have been lasting for a quarter okay we can go off of that yeah temporary a right, lot of, of people that we have find when they're coming on from the audience are like, all right, I'm going to change something for a quick week or two. Yeah. Yeah. Before I come on. <laughs> yeah. And that's, yeah, we'll yeah. see if that actually works. Oh. But we have two really bad credit cards. Yes. And then we have an absolutely disgusting student loan. So these are clearly balance transfers. Yeah. Because you have no interest. Yes. Okay. So they are balance transfers. One, the origin of it is from my ex-wife. We, she put a bunch of stuff on her cards and, oh, and, uh, and loans, um, and stuff like that. So like we did a trip, we did, um, I think she got some like, well, uh, either way she had a credit card balance. Yeah. Yeah. So it was like stuff that I owed her and we basically just evenly went down it and said, okay, I'd pay for half of that. I'd pay for this half. And it ended up being about $5,500 that I would owe her. She said she was fine with me paying over months and I'm just like, I just want to get done and over with it. And then we can just call it even Steven. So I took okay. out a card balance transferred over to her. We're even Steven. It's done blah, blah, blah. And it's 0%. So I'm like, that's the best way for me to control gotcha. that. Um, the well, Steven must be very happy because <laughs> $6,308.09, at least on this card. I don't know if that was that card, but either way, 127 minimum monthly payment. When does this payment thing, the balance transfer end? And I think it, it, I remember seeing it on one of those. I think it's on there. You don't know. Yeah, oh, I, I, mean, I would know because that's scary. If that balance starts accruing interest. Yeah. Woo! Oh, yeah, I know. I would just I think in my head, I was always like, if I ever got to that point, Did it wasn't paid off. I would just balance transfer again. But in my mind, I Can't always down I, the road. <laughs> I always like the idea of being able to pay it off before that. Yes, happens. I would yeah. uh, also enjoy that idea. That is the plan right now. So you don't um, know when it is. I don't know how long. No, it's Jeez. it should so be. Did you open them at the same time? Both? No. Okay. Uh, I believe they might be like a month apart or so. Okay, so they'll be similar periods. Yeah. Maybe. The city. The, the city this, one ends in December. Yeah. So that one does say it on there. That one. That one was a godsend. Okay. The city one because I owed seven hundred dollars or so on a Best Buy credit card that I thought at the time was a good purchase was not a good purchase. Very not good. I won't go into detail what I purchased. It was not good for me. I didn't need it, but that credit card had a 27% interest and I did not like that. So I balance transferred over into this new card. And so now I'm paying 0% interest on that. And I have avoided the best buy credit card of 20% 27% interest. I can offer you 0% interest on something. And that's by, if you hit the subscribe button, we won't be charging interest on that, but you should do it. Cause we're trying to get to 500,000 subscribers and thank you to everyone who has subscribed so far like y'all thank you okay so on the city $35 minimum monthly payment yep $2,341 yep. 99 cents yep and I'm making overpayments on both of the cards yeah you went from 35 minimum to 50 yeah because so. they they like to go up and down and I'm just like you know what I just have a, a solid payment of $50 on the one instead of the 35 and then I have a 150 on the discover that one I know is going to come out. 127 is the minimum. So, so we're paying barely over. So yeah, these yeah. are not even going to be close to done by the time. At that yes. rate. At the time the interest. If the paying. if the way that I am doing my debts, the debt snowball, if that works out the you're way that I'm... doing the classic snowball method? Small yes. to larges? Yeah. No, you're not. What do you mean? No, you're putting more to the Discover when the smallest one's the city. So everything in the world should be going to the city. And that's I just have minimum monthly payment on Discover. Currently, I have some smaller, even smaller than that stuff that I am. Oh, that I didn't have. That oh no. I have two other things. Oh, what do you have? That I'm currently paying, and what that is, is collections for Ooh. like four hundred bucks. 
Um, that was for a company that like I, it was like a dating site that I thought was a scam. And uh, unfortunately I signed up for their crap. What was it? Well, eHarmony. And so eHarmony, when you sign up for them, I'm like, okay, you know, if I, if I use this site, like I'm going to find people. Yeah. Within like a hundred miles, like 25 people showed up and I'm just like, okay, this is useless. So I tried to get my money back as soon as possible, like less than an hour after I signed up. And they were like, nah, we're not going to give you your money back. But I paid through PayPal, so I got my money back. And then they're like, yeah, we're going to charge you all of it now. So this is, that's went why through I use Hinge Extra Super Premium Plus Supreme to try to find love. Oh, yeah. Yet I have not found love, so <laughs> well, match with me. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I used. And they, they put it to collections. I tried to fight it. I asked them for like uh, for like evidence of the collections because sometimes they don't if it's small enough they don't even send you any in, uh, evidence of it yeah it wouldn't be worth but it. but they sent me everything on it so i was like okay fine i'll pay it what else so i started a payment plan for that and what's the payment plan how much a month 75 dollars a month okay and for six left? six months yeah okay how, what, what else uh taxes so taxes last year <laughs> Taxes last year, it's not too bad. Um, taxes last year, I signed up. Uh, Anything to the IRS is bad. I nah, know. It's annoying. Payment plan? It was, yeah, it was very annoying. For 2022's taxes? Yes. So, like, this was like, we've just did. We've yeah, just they don't this. even tell me I owe it yet, but I know I'm going to owe because I did, I it, appreciate through, I did that. it through TurboTax, and it said I'm going to owe $650. Ugh. And I was like, I was like, nah. So, I signed up for a payment plan that's on $65 every bi-weekly basically so when she pays me for rent she pays me bi-weekly and i take from that from her payment and i take that 65 and i put it towards the irs uh, bi-weekly so that is i have it on one of the statements oh, i sent you, said you 13 bucks uh 130 dollars oh, per month. month that's right yeah. 130 dollars per month um so that will take me a little bit and i've already made about four th- or five payments on it good how much is left not sure. It would be on. What was the payment term again? Uh, I believe six months. Six months, and you've done it for three months. Maybe like so two and a half. I'm not sure. I mean, oh, you I said three made... payments. Yeah, three four payments. Yeah, something like that. Um, about 260 so far, I would say. But I'm making progress on it. So currently, my idea on the all the debts, all the things I owe, is the taxes and the collections first. And then I would be focusing on my city card, get rid of that. Uh, then I'd put all of that focus on the Discover. Well, again, the thing is, you're putting extra towards the cards anyway. We put everything towards the smallest. If what you want to do is the snowball method, and we can do other methods, but. Yeah, but I mean, the difference between me doing the extra on the credit cards is like very minimal. Like you said, it yeah, was like an extra $14 to, no, 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 or something. No, 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 but when, well, when it comes to both of them together, plus what your minimum payments are on the taxes and with how low the balance is, yeah. it makes a difference. It's only like 390 bucks left. Yeah. So if we're doing that extra, it is do something. You, now, what I could do, and I've kind of just created the schedule to pay these things off, but yeah. I had uh, theorized that I can, instead of paying the taxes, because they're just waiting for me to make payments on that, yeah. and they, I can make a $300 payment at, all at once instead of Which their plan. Should. Right. So I could, technically, I can stop paying the $65 bi- biweekly, and I could just put that straight towards the collections and just get rid of that quicker and then then put the whatever from the collections and the 65 uh, right. well, you, you see what i'm saying i we'll, could just we'll do talk that about it. we'll talk about it we'll talk about it we'll, we'll talk about it but we have one more and this must be your student death loans yeah, sure is so <laughs> you went to full sale i saw yeah yeah i would recommend no one ever go to full sale I personally loved it. No, I'm sure you got a good experience, but it's yes. stupid expensive for what you could get the, elsewhere. The way that I did it made it expensive. I got a... It's expensive for almost anyone. I got a $40,000 scholarship. So what you're seeing that I owe is actually after a scholarship. Yeah, I bet. No, full sale stupid expensive for the return on investment. Yeah. Like the return on investment is almost nothing. Now, if I went about it in a different way, I would have been just fine. So I'll kind of start from nothing. Okay, so this school, 
full sail. They have an accelerated program or a regular long-term program. The long-term program is similar to your normal college. It takes four years to get a bachelor's, and that's what it is. The accelerated, you get your bachelor's in two years, and you're going to school like 40-plus hours a yeah. week, and you've got like 10 hours of homework. So I wanted to do the accelerated. I said, let me just get my school over with. I'm going to go there full-time, 100%, just focus on it. And that's what I did, and I uh, went through all the classes, courses, and everything, and I got my bachelor's degree in a, about two years. Graphic it was design. like, yeah, in graphic design, it was so a bachelor's of science. What state are you from? Uh, Texas. Mm -hmm. I would have gone to Texas State University and got a degree for like twenty thousand dollars in graphic design. Yeah, and guess I, what? The institution that you graduate from, no research has ever suggested that you'll land a better job. One hundred percent. No. It does not. Or increase your income. As, as far as graphic design goes, even employers, I have been told that they don't care about what school you go to for graphic design. Yeah. As long as you can make good stuff that that's looks nice, is. that's all that matters. This dude back here, I didn't even come close to asking where he went to school. All I cared about is if he could get the job done well. Yeah. That's all they care about. I could have learned everything on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. But it absolutely. was a very good school. They knew what they were talking about. They had very well-trained professors. Or you could even even you better, know, yeah, for so. people who are looking to get out of that certifications, man. I, I don't know if course careers like the people that I work with even offer something like that. Yeah. But just certifications, people need to look into certifications. Out of my friend group here, out of everyone that has a college degree, the person that doesn't have a degree and got a certification in cybersecurity makes well more than anyone else. Yeah. It was it was some advice I got from a high school uh, my oh, high no, school teacher. You never talk to them. They they don't know. It was my graphic design teacher to all we of, had a graphic design class to people in high who are in education their world is go get education yeah yeah for sure um, but i asked him i said hey i'm looking to get into graphic design more professionally where do you where would you say i should go and he said the only one he was familiar with was full sale most likely they did some sort of presentation with him at the school so that's why he knew yeah. it yeah again the school is not uh, going to that school is a problem financially. I feel like the stuff, everything that I learned there was very good, but yeah. Okay. Either financially way, was not good. <laughs> $70,742.55. Yep. Ugh, of death. And that's terrible. We're at a 6.5 interest rate now. I do want to talk about that in a second, but we have a minimum monthly payment of 593. These minimum monthly payments are stacking up, sir, on $2,934. But $396 of it goes to interest, where basically $200. So basically $400 goes to interest, $200 goes up to principal. Mm -hmm. That being said, did you take a private student loans to go there in the first place? So, yes. So I had, I, well, yes. First, just, first, I don't remember. I basically signed when I went to school. All I remember was I wanted to go to school. I, Thinking what, back on it now. What I were the remember. student loans that you took out to do it? Um, for the school itself. Yes. It was only, it was like 20 grand. The rest of it, everything else mm -hmm. was living expenses. Because uh, because when you're going when you're going to school that you much that much for living expenses yes. you left well beyond your means I bet you yep. ate out I bet you just went stupid 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 okay very okay. very stupid it very did stupid it. it's in your past we're not gonna bully you for that yeah. I will bully you for the stupid spending you're doing now but I'm not gonna bully yes. you for that you have it it's something you have to pay off but what you borrowed was a lot of money what was the interest rate so when they when I came out of school they had like. It's like it, each time you got some loan payment or whatever, they they made separate loans for it. They yeah. don't make just like one loan. They're yeah. like, here you go. So when I was in school, they gave me like multiple like checks where yeah, they were like, the they gave me like a 24 grand check and they're just like. Were they federal or private? Those larger payments were private. Those okay. were Sally. What May. were the interest rates? Yeah, Sally. Sally. Uh, the those were, some of them were six, some of them were lower, like three, but they were variable. They were oh, variable rates. Okay. Now, when I left so cool. college, I was like, I, I don't like having all of these different payments no, taken out at e every time. And if they were variable right now, it would be terrible right now. Yeah. Where interest rates have gone up. Now, I will say this. SoFi gets a lot of hate. They get a lot of hate. And I mean, I people can have their different opinions on different things they do. Yeah. What I am cool with, with variable rate interest rates for all that, which would probably be at like 10% now, 11%, 12%, you were able to get a fixed rate, fixed rate at 6.5%. 
I'm not happy with you having that interest rate, obviously, and I want you to get out of that. You want yeah. to get out of that. Uh, I would much rather you refinance under one roof where everything's on one thing at a stable interest rate that's not variable. So that's good. And those kind of services are good for people who have an insane pile of student loans. If you have like 15,000 bucks, all right, let's just attack that. Yeah. But if we're at 75,000 where you came in, then okay, that makes sense. And that's where I think services like them are okay. And I know there's lots of discussions around for them, sure. but that's where I'm okay. But either way, without your without your collections and IRS debt, your yeah. total debt is $81,329.63 uh, at the time of those statements. Mm -hmm. uh, paying on those, uh, you know, it was just, you were just doing basically a little over minimum monthly payments on the cards and then minimum monthly payment on the, uh, on your student loans. Yeah. But guess what? This makes no sense. This is where I get actively upset. Not necessarily at... No, okay, a little bit at you. A little bit at you, because how long have you been watching this channel? Um, for probably the last month or so. Okay, only the last month, and I won't be too angry. I was going <laughs> to slap the table at you, but I guess I don't have to. Dude, within the statement, we went out to eat $375.28 times. Yep. You could have paid the remainder of the taxes we could have basically paid the collections yeah. instead of mickey d's which you're obsessed with and guess what let's also talk about this let's uh, there, there's an honest discussion to be had as a man with a dead body who's trying to eat better <laughs> i get going out to eat i really do i get the temptation of it and it's kind of addicting the fast food the, the fat the grease the salt i love it <laughs> shove mcdoubles down my throat i'm all about it let's go that being said one you cannot afford it two Let's talk about the health aspect. If we're doing that every single day, that is not good for us. That is just not good for us in general. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And that's that's not to say anything against you or to shame anyone for anything, but that's just the fact of the, the conversation of that kind of food. If we're going to eat food, let's at least try to be healthier Yeah. because I also want you to live longer. Yeah. I think when I... I think from this statement, I think you might have been seeing where they like the smaller McDonald's. It was like four something dollars. It added up to basically 400 bucks though. Yeah. So when I was doing that, that was actually my breakfast in the morning on my way to oh, to work. That's the easiest it, it was, meal. Yeah. But what I thought, I went to the store and I looked at like frozen sandwiches. Frozen sandwiches? You yeah. You get bowls of cereal. Okay. I don't You get bro a breakfast bar. Breakfast bar. Yeah. You don't need a frozen sandwich. I don't do bars because I'm a, I'm allergic to nuts. But I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Granola, no Cereal. Nuts. It was a little bit more. Um, the best thing I found was like oatmeal. Oatmeal was like way easier. Okay. Yeah, I so can you do can, that. You could overnight oats. Yeah. At that time, I literally found that frozen breakfast sandwiches at the store was the same cost as like McDonald's. I'm sandwich. sure because McDonald's is a bit, it's a frozen thing so, that they make there. So I mean, yeah, it's pretty similar. But frozen yeah. at the store is not the only option. Yeah, we can't yeah, use that I as know. a justification. It was a, it was a it was a convenience to cost kind of thing okay. that I did. But yeah, at that time, that's what I was doing. I haven't been doing that in the last the bowl like, of cereal, month. no distractions, few minutes to eat. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's yeah. way better. And we could do a granola bar, no nuts. Yeah, I, I actually, I'm just not a big breakfast person. Um, so like right now, I'm just... Okay, I, if you're I've not been, a big breakfast person, breakfast. then we just don't eat it. We don't give yeah. McDonald's the money. Yeah, for sure. And then you've sent out Zells, by the way, of the month. Sent out Zells of $886. Yep. Zells PayPal. So, yep. uh, accounting for all that, dude. I mean, come on. With the debt, the minimum monthly payments, how much you're eating on fast food. I mean, you're there's not there's like nothing left. Yeah. There's so, nothing. like I said, um, it's basically with all my payments and everything. Um, but I do see a light at the end of the tunnel. Um, I kind of I uh, if you look at one of them, I have like a Google Sheets of like my s uh, snowball calendar that I kind of created for myself, and I was starting with the the collections and the taxes. And then what I did was I compared how long it would take me to pay all these things off. Just making the payments that I'm making now. I compared that with an additional thousand dollars a month in doing some Uber eats. And I saw the difference. Are you doing Uber eats? I started doing Uber eats last week. Good lad. Um, and it's, it is good. Um, and I, I need to keep up with it. 
the idea for me is after work every day to do uh, at least fifty dollars, and that will end up fifty bucks a day. Fifty bucks a day for weekdays. So every time I leave work, I go do about two hours or so, and that'll make me about fifty dollars. Um, and then if I keep up with that for a whole week. That is $250 a week. At the end of the month, that's $1,000 a month. Did you take into account gas as well with that? No. We, we have to account for gas and maintenance when it comes to what we consider profits from there. For sure. Plus, you're setting aside tax money 30%, 25%. Yeah, but I'm also collecting um, the information on my driving miles and every math thing that I've done calculated. Now, I still want to do that to protect myself because I know I, w- I don't want any taxes at the end of the year, just surprising me. I don't like that. But everything that I've looked at is when you drive for Uber Eats and you track your miles properly and all sure. your expenses, that it equals out your taxes okay, and even good. if a profit. But make sure you're doing so, maintenance and gas as well. Yeah, yeah. Any advice on like what I should apply for that? Um, um I it just because it depends on the car and how the frequency you're driving. You're just gonna have to figure it out. Yeah, yeah. Um, but. I do see, because you have no savings. You have nothing, right? Nope. There's not, is there any retirement? Nope. Oh. Yeah, I used to. Oh, that's I spooky. used to have some really nice savings. No, what happened? Um, so I used to have about 10 grand in savings in a 401k from when I worked oh, as a graphic designer for three savings. years. No, yeah, okay. not. I mean, it's a okay, 401k. Okay, go on. Where, where'd it go? Then when I left that job, I started doing plumbing. Um, I had a $6,000 credit card. And I took the money out of my 401k to pay that credit card off. And I did that. And then I left the rest of that in that account. Then I, when I got married, um, I did not know where I was going to get that money. And so I took it, I took the rest of the money that was in that 401k and I paid for the wedding. And I know that's not a very good thing to do. And I should not have done that. The wedding of which the relationship no longer exists. Correct. Yes. So in your budget, timeline debt payments you're not saying the student loans will be done in no no, no. the student the student loans are just whatever that payment's going to be forever oh, maybe, for okay. like 20 years well, or whatever I don't accept it's just you, the small I don't stuff. accept you getting on a credit card debts in 2 years one month yeah yeah that sucks so that's no, why I that's why that. I kind of made that timeline to to visually show myself how long it's going to take yeah, and I and I felt like way. that was way I don't too like much your way. yeah, yeah. For sure. So that's why I kind of made that timeline. I'm like, how long is this actually going to take? If I if I did everything correctly, made all my payments, yeah. everything, all right. that's how long it's going to take. Let's do this the real way, shall we? Okay. Sounds What's your good. rent? Uh, rent is 1035 What's your portion? Uh, half of that. So five... Whatever it's a well, actually it's eleven thirty five because we have to pay fifty dollars for each car reserve spot. Okay, good we, to know. We did not want to do that, but unfortunately, the place that I live at tows cars like nothing. Yeah, and, and you so need I a, you need a car to live in America. It's the greatest tax we have. I have been towed twice since moving there since January, so that was three hundred and twenty dollars in tows. Utilities, your portion, utilities, internet, all that stuff combined. What yeah, yeah, that's um, with everything. Renters insurance eleven twenty five. Renter's insurance is about $45 a month. <sighs> yeah. The internet's 65 Energy is about $100. Um, and the rest of the stuff is in in the cost of the apartment. So what so is what that? So what do you think your portion? 13 something My portion, like 700 what is that? Like seven hundred? Oh, the utilities? No, 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 the for for so it's five. It's about five fifty or so for the apartment, for the reserve spot, and the rent. Oh, all that. Uh, so and and plus the utilities. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to do the math okay. like in my head without no, writing okay. it down. <laughs> it's okay. You don't have a car payment. I don't. Yeah. So I had. Very good. I had a. Ca- I bought a cash car. My mom actually uh, let me borrow about Very five good. grand. What is it? It's a 2009 Toyota Corolla. Good. Do you owe your mom still? Nope. Good. Gas. I see like a hundred bucks a month is what we kind of saw. So yeah. So that pretty will, not much. Oh, okay. Hundred bucks a month. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, but that will increase with the Uber Eats. I need to figure out like That's an true. average for that. That's true. Uh, but we'll figure that out as like a business expense yeah. and all this stuff when that happens. Okay. So gas. Uh, I am. I am worried about the car. I don't know if you can. What's give the me mileage? One hundred and sixty-one thousand. I just put. 
I put a hundred, uh, I put a thousand five hundred dollars in it before I moved into my new apartment. When I was living with my mom, I had actually started saving money up living with my mom again, but all that money went straight back into that car and then I moved. So I was basically at zero again. Right. We'll talk about I'm, that. I'm just worried about it. I, I mean, it's a Toyota Corolla. Those things go for years, know, but man. anything can happen and I'm worried about it because I'm, if I'm doing all these Uber Eats at any time, this thing could just, all right. we'll talk you know, about it. So rent, utilities, gas, health insurance that's taken out of work before you yep. get it. Um, good, good, good. Car insurance is yeah, car also insurance. Uh, also through USAA. Both of them are about 45. I have uh, USAA for the car and my renter's insurance. That's great car insurance. It's about $90 total for both of them, and I make two $45 payments a month. Wait, I'm sorry, for renters and? Renters car and car insurance, okay, car both put together. Yeah, okay. I mean, the coverage isn't great. Like, I got my car broken into once, and I replaced the mirror, uh, the window myself by going to a junkyard. They didn't give me any kind of coverage. So. All right, congratulations. Your food budget is now $300 for groceries and nothing else. Yeah. Your portion. I know it's like a household thing. You guys can do whatever. She can do whatever. Your portion is no more than 300 okay. And your portion to things for the apartment, toilet paper, all that good stuff. Uh, congratulations. No more than $100. And then your medical thing is 65 bucks a month, right? Yeah, so that's medical, gas, and... Oh, that's also gas? Like yes. Like driving gas? Yeah. Oh. I was putting that away because if I was getting $77 into my account, I didn't want to get blasted with a $30... Gas, but but gas is gas and medical is going to be no more than sixty five. A week outside, oh, a week. Yeah, sixty five is miscellaneous house goods. So that's my toiletries. My I need some soap. I need some paper towels. Then I will cross out uh, house stuff. I will cross out your gas. And we'll do medical, gas, toiletries. Sixty five times four at two hundred sixty dollars a month. Now, of course, there will be additional gas, but that will be for business expenses. Yes. And we'll we'll think about that separately. Okay. Any other expense you have to take care of outside of the debts that you can think of? I have one. I owe $2,000 to my stepmother that I borrowed, um, but she is completely fine with Waiting. as long as it takes for me to get on top of my stuff. But that was... Two grand to borrow before I went into the apartment. Have you been in open communication with, hey, I'm trying to get out of a situation? Uh, I am. She's not very good about calling and communicating, so she just kind of understands. She's in a good place financially, so she's she told me basically she's okay with how long it takes for me to figure it out. But I definitely want to keep it, and I want to make sure that I pay it back. Your minimum monthly expenses on your debt are a third of your take-home. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. That is insanity but that yeah. is so you know, i mean that's an average american yeah and the the reason why i like okay this is this blah 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 is because i want people to understand just how dire this is yeah yeah for sure i mean that's why i started watching your videos and started li trying to listen and started budgeting and i hope know, it's helped my stuff it has yeah it definitely has um like i said i mean the statements are like a month old so i started really looking at everything before that i was just kind of willy-nilly like i know i need to not buy this like now i'm like really looking at every purchase um i'm going into my mint app and i'm literally categorizing each thing um so yeah i'm watching it a lot more closely and i i feel like if i just keep going on that right track that i'll make my progress well, your minimum needing to exist in my budget that I've laid out for you, which I think is a better one than the one you gave yourself, <laughs> is $2,278.10 a month, which is 78%. So your needs category is 78% of your income, which is terrible. It should never be more than 50%. I would like it to be less than 50%, but that's the max it can be. Yeah. So that gives us some extra money, though, because congratulations, what's usually left there is spent on the golden arches. The golden arches... A no more. Yeah. So, w of your $2,934, you get, on a monthly basis, post taxes, post health insurance, all those goodies, $2,278 is gone, meaning you have an additional, woo, $656 a month. So that's going to be the additional on top of my whatever I pay for my stuff right now. Yep. These are okay. outside of minimum monthly payments. I want to do those little extras that you're doing on the card. I want to do that. So okay. this is 100% what I do. I agree with your situation. I think the snowball method works, except for the stepmom debt. We're not going to worry about that now unless she comes barking. Yeah. So 
Month number one, essentially starting next month, month number one, congratulations, that extra 650 bucks will immediately take care of the taxes and will take care of half the collections. Month number two. Actually, hold on for a second. Before we do that, I think we do minimum monthly payments for that month. Put that $650 or $656 aside for two months. Give yourself a hundred uh, thousand three hundred dollars. Okay. Have that on the side just in case. I need you to have something, and even that's smaller than I would like you to have. That's yeah. That's but very good because do that minimum monthly payment on everything else. Do not do the extra on the card. Put all that six hundred fifty bucks on the yeah. side in a high yield. Do like Ally because you're going to use that for your buckets anyway. Now, month number three, boom, taxes is gone. Boom, half of collections is gone. Month number four, collections is completely gone, and we start throwing it to city. Okay. With where City's at and where it'll probably be at the time at uh, three, four. So this is like starting to go in month number four. It's probably going to take about probably an additional three, three and a half months. Okay. So that was. So we're starting month number seven, I think. Seven or eight, somewhere around there, we start attacking the discover as much as we can. Yeah. Now, what I like to usually do is exactly kind of how you're doing it is this is the worst case scenario kind of deal. Um, of course. I know. We'll, we'll talk with, about the other incomes. We'll, we'll talk about that. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Uh, but with what we have right now, it'll then be an additional nine months to pay off the discover card. So, of course, we're like a year and a half now, almost, just about giving it a little wiggle room just in case anything happens. And at that point, that's where we no longer have the extra minimum monthly payments on all these other things like the taxes, the collections, all this stuff. So we have, we're probably to about, uh, about $925 extra a month. Yeah. And these student loans, they're going to be at about $70,000 at that time, unfortunately. Maybe, let's just say $69,000. <laughs> you will have nine twenty-five. dollars That's going to take 74 and a half months. Yeah. Divide that by 12, that is six years. So what's scary about this situation, and that's not even your stepmom, then your stepmom has to be paid up, then you have to get an emergency fund. And of course, yeah. you're in your mid-30s at this point, and we have zero for retirement. So that's yep. unacceptable. Uh, we do not uh, accept yeah. that, obviously. What is critical is, and even though you had a, a relatively good interest rate for uh, private student loans, I'm happy to refinance. That was good. That was a very good choice, so good job on that. Thank you. Uh, it, it being over five four uh, 4% by an additional 2.5%, we yeah. do need to kill it as fast as possible. Plus, your income to that debt ratio is scary. And the minimum of the payment is bad for your situation yeah. anyway. So, yes, you're correct with what you're doing. You're Uber eating like crazy. You're Uber eating. You are just driving every second of your life. What I would prefer, try to get a better job, better paying main job, yeah. and, then, and then continue that Uber Eats. If you can bring in like fifty, sixty thousand dollars yeah. $60,000 a year. This job has a great potential good the guys in my i in my office i don't know the exact numbers but i know they get very paid very well for good. what they do and i am getting trained in every aspect of what they do and they want me completely replacing their duties currently um estimating things out as long as and that's provided with the income yeah yeah so of course and and the uh, there's a lot of bonuses with this company when they uh, when I first started, I was there for only like a month. And I mean, at my pay, you kind of realize what I get paid weekly. They give me 500 bucks. And after, I was only there for a month. And they're like, this is just like, they were like, this is just because everybody else is getting a bonus. It was like Christmas time. Um, normally we wouldn't give you a bonus, but you've been doing great. So here's $500. Good. So they didn't need to give me that. And I just know this company is just great. And then I know if I stick to that's it, beautiful. I'm going to get, so you work your butt off. You're the best employee ever. You make more money yeah. and then you drive Uber Eats. The sad thing is and you, I mean for this, to, cause to pay off all the debts, it's going to be like eight and a half to nine years total. Yeah. Plus getting a fully funded emergency fund and starting retirement. We're looking like almost a 10 year process. You're 37 before you even start contributing to retirement. Yeah. We find that unacceptable. If you double your income to like 70,000 bucks, mm -hmm. actually, well, no, after taxes, like 80,000 bucks in total. 
Yeah. I mean, this is still a five year, half a decade process. And you don't want to be not going out to eat once or having paid no paid for fun once yeah. for five years. And that's if you double your income. So we need you to try as much as possible. And I'm over here just sitting here on this side of the table. I, uh, it's easier to say than do. Yeah. But if we can get close to doubling your income through bonuses and stuff like that at your primary job, that's great. And then still every single second of your life driving Uber Eats that you're not sleeping. Yeah. And I'm sorry. And I know a lot of people say, oh, it's too strict. You can't do it. If it's 10 years going as crazy as possible on our, our current income, then even with the extra income, five years you just, we can't be spending money on extra stuff. We just can't. We have free fund or your significant other takes care of, if you want to go out to eat, they take care of it. Mm -hmm. But you cannot be doing it because you have a mess and you need to clean it up. And at this pace, at the pace you're on now, not going aggressive, yeah. this debt's not paid off for 30, 40 years and you're dying on the workplace floor yeah. because you have nothing saved for retirement yeah. and hoping you're, hoping and praying that social security exists for you, which who knows <laughs> for us. <laughs> I think, uh, I think it all kind of just started from, I mean, most people, when they get into college, they have that time where they're just like struggling, where they're eating that top ramen, they're eating whatever they're making that happen. I didn't get that. They gave me $24,000 checks. I paid my rent and I used the rest of that. Sally I was supposed May to save. will give you everything. Oh yeah. So I had no struggles in college. I was going out to eat and doing all sorts of crap. So I did not have that time. And in between that time, I've slowly started realizing all these faults. And so I yes. feel like I'm at that point where I'm just like, I need to, you do. I need to turn it off. What's I need to scary, figure this out. It, what's scary is for how long you'll have to turn it off. I'm curious yeah. if it's sustainable. So you got to figure out coping things, take advantage of your health insurance, mental health, make sure you're checking in, Yeah. make sure your relationship is strong. And if you have fun, they're covering it, you know. So, and then there's lots of things you can do for free. That's fun as well. I love yeah. going to parks and just doing lots of free activities, just hanging out with friends at their place. Yeah. This is going to be a long journey. I'm nervous for you and I feel bad. I legitimately feel bad because I know this is going to suck. Yeah. But the light of the tunnel does exist. Even if it takes a while, just go crazy. But you are a perfect example to everyone who's watching of, hey, Maybe we don't go to a private school in Florida. Hey, maybe we go to a public school, public university. Hey, maybe we go to community college for two years. Hey, maybe we check out course careers and just get certified. Yeah. I, hey, maybe we go to trade school. <laughs> I think I was I'm a perfect example of your parents told you to go to school, go to college, go to college, go to college. And I'm like, fine, I'll go to college. Now, I'm, now I went to college and I'm like... Now I got to live with it for 10 years. Thank you. You're the classic <laughs> American. Yeah. And like the thing that I wanted to do and I learned how to do it and I did it very well and it still didn't pay very well. So yeah, it is what it is. It yeah. is what it is. So please, please just sacrifice a budget. Do what's necessary. Get rid of those $15 fees. Yeah. No. It's, and then, and then you're going to probably want to throw, depending on how long it's going to take to get out of this, probably about 35% of your income, 30 to 35% towards retirement. Yeah. Cause it's time no. to play catch up game. Cause you're going to, obviously you'll miss your first decade of, it's a given at this point. You yeah. will miss your first decade, best decade of compound growth. You'll probably miss half of your second best decade of yeah. compound growth. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of it is at the, the whim of this job. Um, I feel like, again, where I start, I started this job back in November. So, I mean, it's barely been six months. So I don't plan for there to be any crazy changes this year. There might be a little bit extra, but really the change is going to come in the next years after that when I show that I can do these this yeah. job professionally and, and get uh, to that level. And don't let a single job in a single company control your outcome build your skills make sure you're marketable throughout yeah. the marketplace just in it's, case anything happens it's but really still. tough it's this it this job market that i'm in is just very niche i bet yeah any final thoughts final thoughts um i think you kind of said it with the school um if you guys plan on going to those kind of schools figure it out look at those job markets and don't be like me and get you know that many uh years of debt that you need to pay off <laughs> that is about it and i need to i know about the accounts i need to look into that the allied right the allied buckets 
Um, so I don't know if that involves just getting a whole new bank or if it's a separate program that I send money to. I'm not sure, but I'll look into it. And that sounds like it's a really good solution for me. Well, for Mr. Carl, he thought his score would be a 3 out of 10, but let's break down the Hammer Financial score. When it comes to him spending within a budget, I'm going to give him an average 5 out of 10. He's budgeting in a weird way, and he's certainly spending a lot on fast food and other fun things. Well, he needs to be getting on a really bad debt. So 5 out of 10. His debt, 0 out of 10. Coming, owing the IRS in collections, crazy amounts of student loan debt and credit card debt, 0 out of 10. You can't give him a point for that. Retirement, he has nothing, zero out of 10. Emergency fund, he has nothing, zero out of 10. Real estate, he's not even close to being in that world debt, zero out of 10. That aggregates down to a hammer financial score, one out of 10. And that's only because he's slightly budgeting and he is starting to get better. Make sure to check out all the resources in the description below. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks.